Welcome to our 200th, stop it. Two, why do you always do it to me? <laughs> 200th episode of yeah. Wake Up. This is a big deal, it's a big anniversary. Listen to this, aim, aim top of tube in safe upward direction away from face or people. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. No! <laughs> I won't do it. That's dangerous! Ah, it won't go! It's Look. because... <laughs> what is this, angels protecting you? What That's is it doing? That's what I'm talking about, we'll be right back. No, ah, oh, yes! Ah, oh. Well, good morning. Welcome to Wake Up, where we wake wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. <laughs> I don't know why our, that makes me laugh. Our, this I... is our partier, our hoper, Pastor Scott. Welcome. Yeah. I like I'm Pastor hat. Scott. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad you're here this morning. You should get your party hat on. 200th episode. <laughs> and today, we're going to have a morning scripture and uh, uh, pray over your day. And <laughs> my goal is not to like... laugh. That's my goal. My only goal is not to laugh. You won't laugh. That's fine. So today's Hope Monday. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, we want you to get your Hoper on, and we're going to talk about Hope. And we're going to ignore Pastor Scott. What? Nothing. Okay. Cool. So why don't you read our scripture for today? I can't. It's I can't Psalms see it. It's 37. <laughs> <laughs> per, that makes me laugh. <laughs> I don't even have the verse. This right, is the Psalms 37, verse 9. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Oh, what a great scripture. Remember, hope is your expectation. Yeah. So those that are evil, things don't go their way. No, it doesn't work. This means the world system. They're just doing our, the world system. The world system is broken, and you can look at the world system. You can you can look at how the outcome of what everyone else is getting around you, and it's it's full of brokenness. It's full of sorrow. It's full of hate. It's full. Uh, they just need Jesus. That's what they need. Yeah. But those that have hope. Yeah. What does it say? It says they're going to inherit the land, and so there's the, the land represents what? God's blessings. God's best. Right. Yeah. Is yeah. It the inheritance. Yeah. The God's promises for us in our life. So where things. is your hope? Is a good thing. Yeah. Do you have your expectation in God's word and what He says, or is it the news? Yeah. Is it the news media? I mean, we talked about that a little bit. Yeah. That how do you? We don't wake up people. You wake up in your day and you fill your life with some hope. Yeah. You get up. You watch us for That's seven right. minutes. And we'll give you the news. <laughs> We'll now, update you. Like we talked about the eclipse, the weather today. What's the weather today? Hot. See? We're, we're going to give you all that. We're giving you all the information. And we're going to give you, you know what? Let me look at today. Today's going to be the day the Lord hath made. That's what I got. Oh, today's the day and the Lord. What should we do? What, I don't know what it says. I think we should rejoice and be, and be glad, in, glad it. in it. So I guess today also you're the head, not the tail. Oh, yeah. You'll be blessed when you go in. You'll be blessed when you go out. This are, is... are they beneath? No, no, no. They're not beneath. They're not beneath today. No. They're above. above and not beneath. And if you're born of God, you're a, a child of God. Child of God, and you're also yeah. a conqueror. You overcome the world. Oh. So this is the news. Well, what if someone forms a weapon against you? What would happen? It is very pro no, it's not very prosperous. I'm sorry, I didn't read the head. I think yeah. it doesn't prosper. Yeah, any war weapon formed against you will, will not prosper. That's the news you need. That's the news. So you get up in the here's here's the way and that those, those who have that is, hope. This is our culture. Yeah, people get up in the morning. And they're going to find out everything bad that happened yesterday. And they kind of have a blank slate, right? When you wake up, you're kind of like, it's oh. a little bit of a, you know, it's a new day. And so the news tells you everything bad, everything negative, and even put a spin on it, even to make it worse. And to just find some, pick some people for you to hate. They always do that. Right. Like, you should hate this guy, hate that person, hate this other person. I was talking with a pastor over the weekend, and yeah. the news is, it brings division. So here's, here's the thing he told me, Rwanda. Uh, you remember the, the genocide, they had, a, I think it was a million people died in a hundred days. Yeah, there's a movie about it. Sure, go on. Now, what, here's what happened. Wow. Cause, because it, it, was, it was two different tribes against each other, but it was the news media. It was radio at the time. And what they did is over a course of period of time, they dehumanized each other. They went as far as to call the other one cockroaches. Through, through radio. The radio brought division. Wow. That's what the radio, that's what the news does. It's all, you watch it, it's all about divide this. And so Republicans versus Democrats, this versus that, everything is to bring division. Yeah, let's take what something someone says and inflame it and make it sound like it's worse than it was and then try and discuss what get someone's intention mad. was. Let's get everyone mad at each other. And that's what, and what does the, see God comes to unite. Yeah, he does. 
right? And love with unites. Hope. He wants to unite, right? But if you start your day with division, mm. you start your day with negative, if this is what you start your day with, yeah. then don't be surprised. And then we, at the end of the day, we got to watch some more news. And then I go to sleep oh, with it. because we watch it at night too. What you put in, because what you put in, you always get out. Yeah. If you put hope in, yeah. you get hope out. Yeah. If you get faith and I get expectation, if I get God's promises, if I get what He's going to do, if I get some joy in, I get some good thoughts in, I seem to get it out. That's right. And, and, and then you start to manage your world through what you're saying. Like, this is right. my world. I have my work. I have my friends. I have my relationships. And let me sow good things into the, let me sow hope into that. And then there's a land that I'm living on. And God's saying, hey, look, I want you to inherit the land. Good land. Those who put their hope in what? God. The Lord. Put your hope in the Lord. There's a fly. And have he's you seen honest. him? He oh, no, is... I actually was swatting at him. Oh, were you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like everywhere. Yeah. If you can, but if you can catch him with chopsticks, you can accomplish anything. That's our next, I want that for one of our challenges next week. What? I want a chopstick challenge. Yeah. And we should do a tree, a bonsai tree. Oh, a bonsai tree. I want to do bonsai trees. Bonsai then there's on. Bonsai. <laughs> bonsai. Let's pray over their day. Let's keep our hope up, right? Let's keep our, uh, our attitude up. Let's keep our chin up today. Let's keep our hope in the Lord. Keep filling yourself up with some wake up. That's a good phrase. It is. That actually rhymes. Just, yeah, keep filling yourself up with some wake up. And coffee in your cup. Ooh. All right. Heavenly Father, Lord, we ask that you bless their day. Guide them, direct them, Lord. Help them to have that, that attitude that, you know what, I'm going to put only good in. That's all I'm going to put in. Yes, Lord. I'm going to put the good stuff in. I'm not going to let the negative, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to block out. I'm going to think only on the good, the pure, the holy, and the praiseworthy. Mm. Because I want to live a life of hope. I don't want to live a hopeless life. Mm. I want a life that's full of your expectations, that I begin to expect that my news for the day is it's a blessed day, that, I, that no weapon formed against me mm. is going to prosper, that I'm blessed when I go in and I'm blessed when I go out, that I can do all things through Christ. That's my news mm. that I start my day off with. And it is that hope in the Lord that goes forth and I inherit God's best in my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. You know, I was thinking about that, 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 that there is news and there are division and there are tough things out there. But when we see things and we keep up on some of the things that are happening in our country with like North Korea and some of the things that are happening, those are opportunities not for us to get worried, but for us to pray. Mm. You know, and, and the idea that you, that maybe your prayer isn't going to be big enough to affect world issues, that's a ridiculous idea. You have the Spirit of God in you. Right. You can speak to the, the How many circumstances times you see the Bible? of this One world. One person. Don't let the media bring you division, but maybe let it inspire you to pray when you do come across it. When you do come across news that's troubling, let it move us as God's people to, to love, love never fails, yes. and to pray. And also, on your social media and stuff, why don't you be the voice that unites and be the voice that brings hope? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for 200. 200. Thumbs up. Be in church this next weekend. I know it's only Monday, but start planning ahead to be in God's house Girls one day a week. Girls Dina, Night Out. Gar oh my gosh, up? it's the week of Girls Night Out. Oh, Girls Night Out. Ladies, sign up, register. They'll put some information down there. They're going to play a video for you it's right now.